at that time, Madame Thatcher came to visit CERN. And when she came, she said, look, I'm not coming as prime minister. I want to be treated as a fellow scientist. So I explained to her all the physics of, about these particles, and she was very interested. And at the end, she told me, look, if these particles are really detected, and before you go public, I would like to be informed by you that these particles have been found. I do not want to be informed by the press. So that's how it happened. We spent almost a whole day at CERN. I had the time to discuss with him the relation between religion and science. And I discussed with him whether there could be a conflict between science and religion. And we came to the conclusion, no, there cannot be a conflict. Because it depends what we call reality is different. You see, in, in physics, we call reality only phenomena which can be repeated, which means which, which can be verified at any time, at any place. Religion lives from revelation. Most of the founders of religion had a revelation, be Jesus or Mohammed, whatever you They all live from a certain revelation, which is a one thing which cannot be repeated, which cannot be recapitulated so easily. Huh? So we agreed that science and religion are different aspects of reality, which are complementary. One of the problems of CERN is that we are doing basic research, huh? fundamental research. And it's very hard to point out now immediately what is the benefit of society for the research we are doing? Because usually it takes at least 10, 20 years before results of basic research, let me say, go to the market, became industrialized, go to the market. I can give you a very good example. When we built the tunnel for lab, the question came up, what can we do to transmit the data as fast as possible from CERN to to, to the hundreds of universities. And for that purpose, the World Wide Web was created. So that is an example how some spin-off from basic science is very important for, for society, but it takes some time. Mm -hmm.